Okay, I'm going to quickly give you guys the stream highlights from last night's breakdown stream of Suddenly Tosa's second day of wipe. So as usual, he was letting his teammate Hammy go ahead first whenever there was an ambush or a rat waiting to completely ambush them and kill them. And Toast is usually the one charging ahead and getting all the kills and snapping up all the good loot. However, when there is an ambush waiting ahead or an extract camper or a rat, he always manages to somehow take it nice and slow and let Hammy break ahead and take the take the death first. Check this out. seeing anything. Can you go in this like, building? What? You're right behind me! Now, in my opinion, Hammy is very well aware that suddenly Toast is cheating. He's extremely well aware. When Toast was initially banned during the tournament a while back, about a year ago, I noticed all of Toast's mods at the time disappeared and went very quiet in Toast community. However, Hammy was very out loud and proud about still being a mod in Toast chat and still relentlessly defending Toast. He also laughs and mocks anyone that comes into Toast chat that gets killed by Toast in game and he finds most of this funny. He doesn't really seem to care at all. There's also been times where he has himself posted videos, one video defending Toast from my channel. He decided to the one video where it was a witness statement against Toast and we all know witness statements are flimsy. Any witness that comes forward that claims to know Suddenly Toast, and the guy did prove that he's known Suddenly Toast for a long time, and it's a witness statement at the end of the day. Of course, I'm going to post it as evidence, and that's the one time Hammy decides to speak out and make a video and debunk the witness statement, but yet he will never speak on anything else posted by myself. He just will not do it, because it... <laughs> The stuff that I post in most cases, I will say there's some stuff like witness statements, for example, that, you know, they're kind of flimsy. But if it comes to someone like Suddenly Toast, I will still post them. It's just if a witness comes forward that's known Toast for a long time and claims that Toast is cheating and I'm going to post that, you know, I'm just going to us to have been battling for a long time. A lot of stuff has happened. I'm going to post that. Now, here's another fine example of Suddenly Toast letting his meat shield go ahead when there's a waiting ambush yeah we want to fight him up close you know point shoot guys in the house <laughs> it's funny when i scope in because it takes the cursor a little bit to catch up <laughs> <laughs> when i move <laughs> It feels like I'm cheating so hard. <laughs> Is that, I'm like not even. That's a Scabs aggro. At what? Left? Yeah. It's 
Пацаны, да сладкие, а не Bro, where? Whoa! I'm dead. Yep, he's inside. I just saw your body, your head explode. Fuck. Oh. Damn. God damn it. I'm gonna try to come in from underground. Now, in my mind, this person is just as guilty as the cheater. I call this person the enabler. This person knows their teammate is cheating. They're very well aware and they don't care. For some reason, they decide not to cheat themselves, but they find it morally fine that they're playing with someone who cheats and defending someone who cheats. Let me know what you guys think. In my mind, this person is just as guilty as the cheater and... When the day comes that the cheater does get banned, I think this person should be banned also. This person may as well download and pay for and use these cheats themselves. It reminds me of one of those fish that live underneath a shark in the ocean. They spend their entire life hiding underneath a shark for protection, knowing that the shark will keep them safe and it is their only chance of survival in Escape from Tarkov. Next up, I'm going to show you guys why a cheater or suddenly toast can just never go broke in Escape from Tarkov. Even though Tarkov might update its anti-cheat and remove cheaters' ability to see what loot is inside containers and keep cheaters virtually completely broke as they can only loot loose loot open in the map, which is not much in the grand scheme of things. It's really not much. And Toast has been struggling with money. I believe he, most of last wipe, he had around 160 million. Now he's struggling to stay afloat and he's just not quite finding valuable loot. I'm going to show you guys a raid where he pretty much hits zero dollars and just scavs in and practically rage cheats and gets his money back up and is able to get a loadout for his very next raid. I just saw something over there. Oh, player staff. That was easy.
not, I don't know. I have had family over. Oh, my pistol laser. I'm out, by the way. Alright. I'm on my way. Yeah. Yeah, this is all good. Got the flu or COVID or something, but we're all over that now. Hey, what's up? Ah, you know, I get some loot. Losing kits. Normal, normal. Normal, normal. You have a shotgun? A uh, what? Walter Dutri shotgun or a Taz? No, I don't have a Taz. I only have like two shotguns on me. Uh, do you have a Walter Dutri or? Nah, no, they're both 153. Uh, Do you uh, need okay, a 153? No, okay. no, I need a 123. Hmm. I sees me at players. Drop him. Oh! <gasps> Amy, were you watching that? <laughs> oh, I just got the cheekiest fucking headshot. <laughs> he's mad. Oh, he's so mad. Oh, I have prompt tattoos now. <laughs> I will be live every weekend to break down Suddenly Toast gameplay. Also with knowledge of where cheats are at in Escape from Tarkov and what's going on and what to expect from people like this. Thank you for watching. Leave a like and a comment and I'll see you on the weekends.